So there, there's a there's a genre known as um, Chinese fantasy cultivation. Cultivation, right? Mm. right? Um, so <laughs> cult- pretty big difference. <laughs> culti- cultivating the internal energies, right? And so one of my favorite authors took this, took took a alter took, book name, took an Eastern concept and did his own series on it. Okay. All right. And the series, hold on, I'll get there. Hold As it on. pulls it up, since we can have phones again. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm <laughs> I so that. glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> all this time, all these episodes later, and I'm still happy. I'm so happy. Um, it is, <laughs> it is uh, the Cradle series by Will White. Okay, Cradle series. Will. So White. the book is called the Cradle series. The, well, well, the I mean, books it's, are named. It's twelve books, right? But the series mm-hmm. is called the Cradle series. And the first book is, is un- what you're on. The first book is called Unsold. So what? Okay. Book, what I've, book are you at now? I've cycled through the series a lot, <laughs> and I think I'm on like book nine again. <sighs> oh, and I started sure. like a couple days ago. Listening on, the, I needed another. I needed something to listen to on the drive. <laughs> And so I was like, "Oh man, yeah, I'll listen to this." Somebody gets to his house and listens for two hours while his truck's still on. No, that's I, I, I fucking get inside and I like start doing chores and I'm still listening to it and I'm like, "Yeah." Um, but how it starts is you're following a character called Lyndon. Um, Wei like Shi, Linden Wei, Wei Shi Lyndon. Way she Linden, okay, right, and you know, Eastern, the last yeah. name goes before the the personal name, right? Um, and so his name is Linden, and you know, it starts off in his childhood, and there's this test that they do to see what kind of, you know, cultivation path, occupation in a way, yeah, that they're going to, which is how they they for cultivation implies you know, fomenting your <clears throat> internal energies and power, right? Um. And what path he would take. And, you know, you put your hand in this water, but it's not water. It's called madra, right? Which is the the physical or what the energy is called. Okay. So this is all literally about energy, energy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so he puts it, it like it's like chi. It, yeah. It's like a different form of magic, right? So instead of calling it mana, we're calling it madra, right? Mm. Um. So he puts his hand in this bowl of water, and it's supposed to freeze, stick to your fingers. It's supposed do, to do something. Do something. And instead, it does everything. nothing happens. But everyone else normally has something. Everyone, else. Every other child has something to happen. And he's like six or something, right? So he's a readily marked and as something. And he immediately, like, it, it immediately turns. And the elder in charge of the test immediately starts treating him like shit. And he goes... You don't deserve to be, you know, considered part of the family or whatever. And, you know, um, you know, you're you're an unsold is what they called him. You have no soul. So this happens every once in a while. I mean, where someone they, they had to dig into. They had to like like this is something that someone has to really know about. Right. It's it's like an extreme rarity. <laughs> yeah. Um, And so. You know, it's he's growing up. We get into like his teenage years. He's like sixteen or fifteen or sixteen, and he's and he's struggling. normal essentially is what everybody's saying. Yeah, he's struggling through life. Everyone else can do cool magic shit. He's not allowed to do anything, right? He can work in the scripture li- library and stuff like this. And eventually, you know. He he hits a frustration point, and one of his elders takes pity on him, and says, "Okay, well, go feed Elder Whisper." And Elder Whisper is a is a is a fox um, spirit, not spirit, but like a a fox with intelligence, essentially, yeah. who also has cultivated power and passed down the path that his family follows. The understanding and how to do it. Yeah, and, okay. It, it, it's because a spirit animal. There's, there's, there's different paths that everyone follows, and the path that they follow is called like the Dream Fox or something. Like fans of the series are going to be bashing the shit out of me when they hear this, right? <laughs> um, the Fox Path or something like that, right? <laughs> the Fox Path or something. 
So it's he like me goes to talk books. to Elder Whisper in his tower, and Elder Whisper is like thousands of years old. And he's like trying to get advice, and the fox essentially says, okay, Jerky? if... Uh, what? Jerky? <laughs> really good. Yeah, it, the fox says... The fox jerky. says... Jerky. <laughs> no, the no, fox does not say He jerky. says, well, if you don't have a path, why don't you make no. a path of your own? Interesting. So he he comes up and he figures out like some stuff happens. He figures out how to do a technique, and you know he progresses. Right, he's starting to figure some stuff out. Pearl, no, ma'am, stop your begging. Go, 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 go. He figures out some stuff, and he uh, starts going down his path. And he's at this tournament, and you know he's fighting kids younger than him but they're on the same level as yeah. him essentially so it's you know still fair fair uh magical level as him yeah and in the middle of this he gets all the powers no in the middle of this a different like clan's great elder appears in the middle of the valley with so much power that the 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 strongest elders in their clan are just being wiped out by him. Wow. Just wiped out by him. And in the middle of the, because the, this <laughs> grand elder started out by beheading his mother and tossing her fucking head onto the ground. Wow. And so in the middle of this, he's like, well, I'm not going to be a coward. I'm going to try and do something. And so he tries to use this technique he invented on this elder, and it does nothing. nothing. And he kind of backhandedly wipes him out. In the middle of this, a heavenly messenger, a, a person so powerful that they have left the world, that they're from a different plane existence, of existence, yeah, comes down and admonishes this person this grand elder for doing shit that he's not supposed to interfering in a world where he left and he's not supposed to be here and doesn't really pay attention to him as he's dragged off to go get punished. Oh my goodness. And she walks up to Lyndon and, and, and proceeds to show him his future bestows him with. Yeah. But it like shows him like, this is the possible future for you. And it shows like it, everything's good. Like, you know, he's, he progresses, like, he, he gets acknowledgement from his clan, all this good stuff is happening, and then suddenly his valley is just wiped out. It just ends. Like, a giant silhouette crashes through his valley and kills everybody. And he's like, what the fuck was that? She's like, well, I mean, you know, you had a good life, and then at the end of it, every your valley is destroyed. And he goes, holy shit, what do I have to do to keep this from happening? And she goes, are you sure you want to go down that path? And she, he goes, yes. And so she goes, she proceeds to show him some of the most powerful people in his world who would have the power to stop this disaster from happening. Okay. Right? Just extraordinarily powerful people. And then gives him advice, tells him he needs to leave his home, leave his valley, and find this girl because she can help him leave the valley because she knows the way out because she's from outside the valley. Yeah. And, you know, sends him on his way. And then this is like how it really starts. Like now he's the now weakest, this story arc comes in. He is the weakest person in the world right now. But he's the only one that can fix it. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, first book. I got sucked in the first time I read it. That was like, what, three hours? <laughs> Man, I burned through it. And there was like, I think, four books out at that time when I came across this book series. <laughs> and then I'm just, wait, it's a 12-book series. So far? No. It ends at 12? It ends at 12. It is done at 12. Okay. <clears throat> Might have to touch on that one. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Steven... I suggested it to him, and he got sucked in. And burned through it? Yeah. So, that was the Cradle series by Will Wright. 
I can't express enough how much you enjoyed it. How much I enjoy. How much I still enjoy it. It's like, it's like my comfort series, right? 